This is PNW Enduro and today I'm going to talk about the first 100 hours on my 2017 KTM 250XC. You alright? Yeah. Need a hand? Before the first ride I added a few things to the bike. First off was Psycra hand guards. I also added a skid plate and pipe guard combo. One other thing was a trail tech speedometer. I always like to track how far I'm going each ride and it also helps with keeping up on the maintenance. That's deep! I do with every bike I get as far as bike setup is I shave the seat. This is a relatively easy and free modification that helps for shorter riders. brake pads didn't last very long. I ended up changing the front and the rear at 210 kilometers. About the suspension. My last bike was an XCW model, so going to this bike with the linkage Right away, the rear shock just feels so much better to me. Air forks took some getting used to. I think they take maybe 10-15 hours to kind of break in and start feeling better. I did spend quite a lot of time adjusting first the air pressure and then the clickers, um, but now that I've got it set, I think they're very good fork stock. I would go so far as to say that the suspension stock on this bike is already better than my previous bike, which was revalved. My first real problem with the bike came at 17 hours where I had a coolant leak. I'll put up a link to episode 2 where I talk a little bit more about that, but I will say I think it's a very rare defect. I just happen to be unlucky on this one. the stock tires performed pretty well on this bike. Since then I've tried several other tires. Probably the best performing tire I've used so far is the Shinko Cheater tire. But I'm currently using a Pirelli MT16 which I would say is probably one of the best overall value tires. Performs well and lasts quite a long time. My favorite tire on the front so far is the one I'm currently running which is the Bridgestone Battlecross X30.
thoughts on the reeds? Very well publicized. A lot of people think that the stock reed cage has problems. I'm still running the stock reed cage and it seems to be working fine for me. hours I added the electron carburetor. The stock carb was working fine for me it was set up for the elevation I ride when I picked up the bike but it did seem to be more sensitive to elevation changes than previous bikes I've had. Check out the other videos on my channel where I talk about and review the electron carburetor. five hours I got rid of the skid plate and pipe guard combo and put on a plastic skid plate by AXP Racing. I'll be doing a full review on that product in a future video. most about this new bike is the counterbalanced engine. I can't see enough about how much different it is to ride this compared to the old two strokes. The engine just so much smoother and the whole bike just feels smoother. Once you ride a bike with a counterbalanced motor it's, it's really hard to go back. For watching PNW Enduro. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I try and post a new video every Sunday or at least every second Sunday. And during racing season, the race highlight videos will be posted each Thursday following the race weekend.